I'm gonna cook yan su ji, Taiwanese fried chicken. So you have boneless chicken thigh and add a little bit of pork cubes. First of all, you need to have a little bit of garlic to add to some sweetness to it. And then uh, for me, I like to add a bit of uh, chili pepper, cayenne pepper if you like it. If not, it's optional. And then pepper to remove some of the chicken fresh whatever taste and a bit of uh, potato starch if you don't have it you can use cornstarch a little bit of salt you don't need to put too much salt because you're going to coat it with salt later on and five spice probably about for one piece of chicken about half a teaspoon Garlic powder or garlic is fine. About one tablespoon and a half of water. A little bit of wine. White wine or rice wine will be perfect. Oops, sorry, too much. And then a little bit of a beaten egg. Probably about two tablespoons of beaten egg. And then you just kind of uh, Add in some sugar, a little bit, mix it well, leave it for at least 20 minutes. So that's all you have. Okay, I'm going to do a pork version, just about one tablespoon of water, and then about half an egg that's beaten. And I've already added uh, wine, white wine in it. A little bit of uh, pepper. Potato starch or sweet potato starch would be ideal. Salt. Five spice. About one teaspoon because it's almost 500 grams garlic and some sugar and lastly a little bit of garlic powder if you like so you mix it well leave it for 20 minutes Gonna fry some potato to go with a crispy chicken. It's a mixture of sweet potato flour and potato starch or potato flour. If you have sweet potato flour, that would be great. You just put in the chicken, just coat it lightly. Make sure that your oil, when you use for frying, is not gonna be so hot medium to medium low will be great so like this just gonna add a chicken inside it would be good to have more oil but you know I don't totally enjoy deep frying at home so just kind of medium low just fry it slowly So I'm just going to do double frying, this is the first fry, it's almost done, so it, the second fry will be on high heat, so you kind of rest the chicken a little bit. Just rest it here for a while and then you fry it for one minute on high heat. The pork now, yen su ro ding. So low fire and then once you put it in you can increase the fire a little bit. Just make sure it's all touching the oil. It's really hot for second fry. Together with the potato, just do like one minute to quick fry it till it's uh, crispy. Just keep on stirring it. The reason you want the oil to be super hot so that you can crisp it up 
and also none of the much of the oil can be stuck to the meat so just quickly do a quick fry on a high heat smoking about one minute Now after this one minute, just remove it. Pepper, pepper. And then salt over it and then just toss it. So once you toss it, this is what you call yen su rou ting or yen su ji. So this is done and then you just display on a plate and eat it while it's hot. So this is a chicken. So double fry it. On high heat. Just keep on stirring it until you can see smoke for about one minute. Out the point. So this is done for one minute. Take it all out, drain it real well on high heat. Pepper, sprinkle salt, and then pepper for red chili pepper that I like and then toss it well and it's almost done the vessel and fry it see it's crispy see it adds another layer of flavor really crispy it releases a nice Best of smell. And then put it over here, drain it dry, and it's going to be, going to be put on top of the chickpea leaves on top. Here is Yen Su Ji. Ta da! This is my Taiwan Yen Su Ji Super crispy, super juicy Lincoln, this is for you Chiu Chen Ta Yen Su Ji Mmm Let's open it 